Uh, hello again, Steve here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about social distancing. You know, ever since this whole whatever it is <laughs> began, I've been suspicious of the term social distancing because what I've noticed is that I'm becoming more socially close to many people. And somebody pointed out to me about a month ago that it's, you know, if everybody was truthful, they'd call it physical distancing, which is, surprise, surprise, what I'm starting to hear. Now, I'm wondering, you know, I've been accused of being a conspiracy theorist once or twice. I mean, there's lots of people like to parrot the CIA's, one of the CIA's favorite terms, of course. But um, I kind of thought that maybe, whatever this is, you know, the old saying, by certain people, you probably know who they are, that you never want to let a good crisis go to waste. I suspect that the old term divide and conquer uh, could be playing true here, which is to say, if we are all socially distant from one another, then who do we turn to for good conversation, for help, for suggestions, and so on. But I noticed when this stuff started really starting going down. I mean, I've been aware of this for, you know, going on four months and so on, but when, when it became a social conscience, I guess, and people started running for toilet paper and whatever, I noticed that just walking down the street I'd have fabulous conversations with people. And like I say, my whole immediate family, siblings, we're all very much socially closer. We are physically distant and we have been for many, many years, but we're socially closer. So that's, that's something I think to be aware of. I don't like to call it social distancing because, well, we don't have to be physically close to be socially close. But, you know, a lot of this thing, a lot of this stuff that's being taught to us uh, should have been, it's a shame that it has to be told, doesn't it? Wash your hands after going to the bathroom. I mean, my God, <laughs> I mean, un unbelievable. But, I mean, to the extreme, there's a, it's, this is, it's interesting to observe. My wife, I used to bug her about this, and I've apologized since. She was what I would have called a germaphobe for many years. And what she would do when we'd go shopping, grocery shopping, everything went through the sink, including loaves of bread. Believe it or not, I've never seen anybody in my life wash a loaf of bread in the plastic bag, of course, other than my wife. She always had spray bottles of chlorine and alcohol wipes and everything else in the house. And on a daily basis, she'd wipe down the light switches and the doorknobs and the surfaces and everything. We just thought she was just kind of, I don't know, obsess what do they call that? Com uh, obsess obsessive compulsive or something like that. But what is it we're being taught, right? And the other thing is that's shameful that people have to be told is don't just sneeze and cough in the presence of others. You know, just cover your, you know, restrain it somehow. And of course, if we look at, if we look at societies like Taiwan, I'm talking to you, WHO, Taiwan, when they got a grip of this, well, they practice this social responsibility, you might want to call it. Whereas if you're ill and you got sneezes and coughs and stuff, you wear a mask out in public as a way of preventing what it is that's flying out of your nose and mouth from hitting others. This all kind of makes sense. It's almost elementary, isn't it? But apparently it's not. So maybe that's a good thing that'll come from this. Maybe more and more people will not only learn for themselves to wash their hands after going to the washroom and to wash their hands after coming in from out of places and also from scratching their face after touching stuff. I remember my wife, she used to bug me with this and she's, she's right. I mean, I'm once again, I have to apologize to her. I used to scratch my face once in a while after being in public, she'd, and she'd admonish me for that. She says, well, hang on a second, you just touched a doorknob, and there you are scratching your face. And I go, yeah, but I'm not sucking on my finger. But you know what? There's germs there, there's whatever. That could be going in your mouth and your nose and whatever. So um, I think there's a lot, of, a lot to learn here, uh, which is that we should just use better personal hygiene and be aware of others, too when we're out there. And this is once Inner Genie Project is about taking action and things that help us in the moment, right here and now. And the, one of the biggest things, the biggest thing you could say is our health. And if these sort of conversations can help us, I think it's great. But remember, 
to have a meaningful conver conversation, we have to be socially close. That's the only way you can be honest, right? We don't have to be physically close, but we have to be socially close, I would say. So let's forget about social distancing. Let's create social closeness. And when we're ill and so on, we're sneezing or whatever or other people are, create a little bit of physical distance. Steve here, again, great chatting. Talking soon. Bye for now.